worst couples ever. Oh, hell no. What you, his girlfriend? What is going on, guys? Shot Clips here once again. And as soon as I show some wild clips of the worst couples I can find. But in this first one, it is actually pretty funny. I guess this guy decided to ask all these girls a, a simple question. And I guess they all thought they answered it correctly. How many numbers is in the alphabet? Numbers? Yeah. 26. 26? 26. There are no numbers. <laughs> what? I'm not gonna lie. She the only smart one in the group. <laughs> Three, two. <laughs> this next one's actually not funny at all. I guess this guy's asking all these women their, their craziest experiences in the past with their exes. And guys, these are absolutely horrible. It's kind of crazy on all these girls as some of a similar experience. And this just goes to show the majority of women probably cheat. You just never know about it. Not only that, I really just hate how they're all gassing each other up like they did something really cool and funny. When in reality, it's absolutely embarrassing. And I really do hope they never find somebody else again. There's one thing you never told your ex. Whoa. <laughs> I didn't hurt at all. I didn't hurt. Got cheated on. Uh, cheated on somebody. I didn't hurt their they brother. I didn't hurt all types of crazy stuff. So I need you to. I need you to tell me what's one thing you never told your ex. But the same day. She the nigga the same day she him. What about you? Your turn. Come on. What's one thing you never told your ex? I was talking to multiple. Talking to him. Talking to him. Yeah. What was it? Was it because he wasn't doing his job? He was lame. Lame as hell, but you talked to her though. I know I was bored. Oh boy, damn. Okay, okay, what about you? At this point, that nigga's name was whack. Wait. <laughs> This next one we have is girl. I guess she ends up asking her brother to write her. And let me just say, I guess he took things a bit too far because he ends up roasting her life. Check out this clip. Oh my gosh, you're literally my dream girl. No, she's not. She sleeps all day, has one class, but still manages to miss, never goes out, always home, the most disgusting, dirty ass room, doesn't wear underwear or bras, always naked in her robe, goes to church every Sunday, hungover, snap score, humor and style of a teenage boy. Oh wait, I forgot, she got cheated on by the same ugly ass white boy a bajillion times and still took him back. <laughs> this next one we have this woman, I guess she decides to go in detail about why she broke up with her current boyfriend. And it honestly had to do with him being dominant or not. I guess she really just liked being put in her place. And a lot of women won't say that, but that's exactly what they need. Because when it comes down to it, you're trying to be the man in the house, not the woman. After all the bad boys that I dated, I thought, you know what? Let me just date the good guy. And that didn't work out because I felt like superior to him. It was no uh, sexual polarity. It just didn't work out because I felt like I was the boss. I felt was like... You, did you find yourself snapping on him and getting a little bit more disrespectful than you normally would? Very. That's typically what happens. Yeah. And I did things to him that I wouldn't do to Katie. And it's unfortunate because he's a good guy. He didn't do anything to me. The problem was is that he didn't put me in my place when he should have, whenever that was supposed to happen. At some point in our relationship he didn't put me in my place as the woman as his woman and he didn't show me that he can lead so i felt like i was leading the entire household and this next i guess this girl thought she was super cool for ghosting a guy but her friend group humbled her real quick guy i liked him and i ghosted him a few days after he confessed to me by giving me a note like a paper that said i like you like the yeah. second grade like rough. like that's not romantic at all well, ghosting like... him isn't romantic either no. friendly fire not all men yeah, but if I gave you a box of cookies and I told you that some of them were made of shit instead of actual cookie dough, you'd be wary of the entire box, right? Yeah, but the problem is men aren't cookies. This analogy only works if all men looked and acted the same, which we do not. Now let me take the same analogy, but instead of it being about men, it's about black people. What would it be? It would be f racist right so how is this not sexist it's literally prejudice and if you don't know what prejudice is let me tell you the definition it's basically a feeling towards a person based on their perceived group membership it's basically like saying you're bad because he's bad and he's a man and you're a man too which means you're both the same this logic of yes not all men but I don't know which one so I just generalize them for my safety is literally the same logic racists use when they're talking about black people anyway see you later no, I'm not sure who this kid is but this kid pretty much broke down the concept perfectly once again a lot of women think it's perfectly fine when they get to say things but the moment a guy says it it's absolutely not okay like men get called misogynistic for certain things but women can say this proudly and never get any backlash at all yo so like do you want to go get voodoo donuts sure <laughs> 
And this next one is absolutely mind blowing. Basically, we have this woman, I guess she's on a podcast with Kevin Samuels, and she decides to happily tell him about how she's cheating on her man with her baby daddy. She ended up finding a man who's willing to take care of her just for her to ruin it and treat him like absolute garbage. Once again, I think men should just stay away from single moms because they just bring drama. You cheating on him with your baby daddy? Yeah. Holy crap. You found a guy who was willing to accept you as a baby mama and took care of you, another man's child, and the respect you paid him was to continue to sleep or to have s with the, mm, with the, with the, with your baby daddy. The perfect Valentine's Day gift when she already has me. Like sometimes I look at her and I'm like, you are so lucky I chose you. Like, you should be on your knees, Excuse me. thanking your lucky stuff. Who are you talking to? In this next one, I guess this girl ended up causing drama for her boyfriend to the point where he ended up getting jumped. Now, obviously, this is just a skip, but it does highlight a lot of good points. Women are willing to run their mouths in public, acting like their boyfriend is willing to defend them. But in reality, the fight never needs to even be fought, and you're just getting your boyfriend hurt for no reason. <laughs> Damn. Babe, I'm sorry. No, you're not. No, you're not. Let's stop lying right now. Because if you were sorry, you would have shut the hell up after the first man gave me that two-piece combo. But not only did you keep running your damn mouth like a kid in school with no home training, after the first one gave me a reality check, you kept talking after the second one jumped in, after the third one jumped in, after the fourth and after the fifth. I mean, damn, girl, you ain't stopped talking till they ran out of friends. I'm starting to think you set me up to get jumped. Because what the hell was that? I'm sorry, but they made me mad. And I look at you as my hero. So I thought you could handle them all by yourself. Hero? Yes, hero. Girl, I am five foot tall with no goddamn cape. Ain't no hero in the history of heroes. Five foot tall with no goddamn cape. Girl, get the hell out of my car. We over. But baby. Girl, 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 I, I refuse to be with somebody that will put me in a situation like this just because they felt disrespected. So like I said before, get the hell out of my car. We over. Go, go, go. And I'm taking them clothes back too. They from Gucci. Don't think I'm letting you keep them. Move. Hell wrong with her, man. Does anybody else eat their bananas like this? So I just have a small banana. And basically what I do is I open the top. And this next one, I guess this guy was in court with another woman. And I guess the judge started giving him an attitude. And he didn't like that. So he decides to stand up for himself. And even though he lost the case, at least he walked away with his dignity. What else is there to talk about with April? On a pure business level. By the way, look, you're right. We haven't finished with April. Address per Hold privity. on a second, honey. I'm, I'm, I'm counselor. I am directing these proceedings. I am doctor, in here, not honey. I'm sorry? You are Dr. McCaffrey? I am indeed. Would you be, rather I call you counselor, doctor, or anything else? How about Dr. You McCaffrey, you? Your Honor? creates a tone of respect where i'm from you sort of got to earn that guess what where i'm from you're born with it watch yourself okay. your honor get out of my courtroom what you gonna do oh shit what the what's your number girl uh now far for the worst clip on the list guys this is we have this woman she ends up coming home to find that her boyfriend was cheating on him with another girl now apparently she was moving out anyways and the girl had no idea this girl existed but why would you bring another woman to a house that's not even yours and you knew her wife was coming back anyways like it just makes no sense to me but check out this insane clip you in my crib on the floor with a bitch oh under my cover this ain't never this <laughs> Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. What you, his girlfriend? No. Oh, where y'all meet at? Where y'all meet at, girl? I need to know, because you in my so I, I just need to know. You fine. I ain't even finna fight you. It ain't a... I could have came here on straight attack mode. You know what I'm saying? Anybody, you, you, what, what's wrong with you, G? Just... I'm not gonna lie, I do appreciate how these two women are actually being pretty civil. One girl is literally laughing as she's recording, and the other girl is actually super mad as well. And they're absolutely correct. This could have gone down a totally different way if it was totally two different women. But thankfully, they're just attacking the guy as it should be. I could have came here on straight attack <laughs> Oh, hell no, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's
Don't wear your hoodie. Can you see my vlog, though, please? I'm real, like, on some real shit. I'm really, like... Well, that's it for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.